Hello and welcome to SDK TV, powered by Data Meaning and brought to you by Darren Holmblad. Today we're going to talk about the MicroStrategy AJAX visualization and how to build a custom MicroStrategy AJAX visualization. So some of the information that we're going to cover today is just a basic overview of the components of a MicroStrategy AJAX custom visualization, the workflow between those components, the documentation available for MicroStrategy on this topic, some possible implementation using third-party APIs or your own APIs, and just go over a demonstration of how to actually set this up. So the MicroStrategy AJAX visualization components are fairly simple. There's really three stages. Uh, the first is Transform 1 and Style 1, which handle the rendering of the XML. Transform 2 and Style 2, which will render all your HTML, your custom JavaScript, anything necessary to actually render your visualization. And then Transform 3 and Style 3. Transform 3 uh, and Style 3 are actually optional. Basically what it does is it renders everything from Transform 2 inside an iframe. Uh, this allows you to ensure that your custom JavaScript or CSS won't interfere with any of the out-of-the-box MicroStrategy uh, code base. So you can see from this diagram, users can apply this to a MicroStrategy grid. And that, could, that grid can be inside a document or just a report. Uh, once the visualization is applied, the grid sends the data to Transform 1. So Transform 1 will handle the parsing of the MicroStrategy grid and will render it into XML. That XML is passed to Transform 2, where it is consumed, and the logic is performed. You know, this is where you would build your visualization take that data and insert it into some custom code to render or create a visualization. Once that step is complete, uh, that is sent to Transform 3, where everything is rendered within an iframe. So the custom AJAX visualization is actually a topic that is very well documented for MicroStrategy. Everything from within this demonstration was obtained from the MSDL. So you can check out the MSDL for some additional information, uh, which also has samples available for MicroStrategy. Some possible implementation that you can use custom AJAX visualizations for are leveraging the MicroStrategy existing AJAX samples that are available from the MSDL. You can extend these AJAX samples to meet your business requirements. You can also leverage third-party APIs like Google Map API, uh, HiCharts, or Chart.js. So these third-party APIs would essentially be inserted into, you know, Transform 2, and, you know, your custom code or your, your XML would be uh, parsed and the visualization would be created with these custom APIs and then pass to Transform 3. So now we're just going to go over a demonstration of how to set up your custom AJAX visualization. Uh, the demonstration today is not going to integrate any third-party API or utilize any JavaScript. It's really just a demonstration of how to get the custom visualization set up. And we're going to set it up to where you can see the data flow through the visualization and you will see the output on the MicroStrategy web. So like any MicroStrategy customization, uh, what we're going to need to do is go into the web customization editor and generate a new uh, plugin. And this will take a second. So once we have our 
new plugin created, uh, we need to start creating these transforms and these styles that are necessary for um, rendering our custom visualization. So if you remember, there were three styles that we used. So we're going to go ahead and create three different styles. And we're going to point this to a transform that I've already created, uh, which I'll show you in a second. So we just create three styles and point them to three different transforms. Create a new transform definition and point it to your transform. So we're going to create the third one, point it to our third transform. <clears throat> so we, we've now created the style component of the custom Ajax visualization. As you can see, we have style T1, style T2, style T3. And they all point to existing transforms. So let me go ahead and show you those transforms. So if you remember, uh, transform T1 handles the rendering of the XML. So this is the transform that interprets the data from the MicroStrategy grid and builds it into some XML and sends it to T2. So this transform is going to extend abstract report XML transform. And I've created a method called render XML. What render XML does is basically gets the context of the bean and then from that it gets the web grid data. So once we have the web grid data we can basically loop through it and build some XML in order to be sent to T2. So as you can see here we're looping through all the grid rows and building row tags and adding the data to those tags. So this transform handles parsing the data from the MicroStrategy grid and builds it into an XML format. And don't worry if you can't see this very easily in the video. Uh, all of these classes will be uploaded to my GitHub account, which you can see the link for uh, in this video. So once we've created T1, um, we can see that demo style T1 is pointing to demo Ajax Viz T1. We will look at demo style T2. So demo style T2 points to de demo Ajax Viz T2. Now this is the transform if you remember from the presentation that handles the rendering of all HTML, all JavaScript to you know, render your visualization. So for this demonstration, all we're going to do is basically dump everything that we've built from T1 out to the markup output. So you can see here we've created a render visualization method, which is necessary for the class that we've extended, which is abstract report data visualization transform. And this render visualization method is the one that renders the visualization. So initially, to get the XML from T1, what we're going to do is call get custom report XML and just store that in a string. Uh, and I've output that to the console and I've appended some static text and then out dot append XML, so I'm appending the get custom report XML to the markup output. So that's really all we need to do for T2. In addition to having a transform on style T2, we're also going to want to have a layout. 
So as you know, the render methods inside MicroStrategy can be called on layouts. So in our layout, we're going to actually create a new layout. So we're going to go into our plugin directory and go into WebNF XML layouts and go new other XML demo layout.xml. So this layout is going to be where we're going to call our custom render method. And I'm actually going to use an existing layout. <clears throat> so if you remember from T2, we have a render visualization method. And T2 is connected to style T2. And our demo layout calls this render visualization method. Render visualization method. So we're going to specify this layout to be for demo style T2. So we just navigate inside our plugin. And save it. So at this point we could actually <clears throat> render the visualization. However, we're going to take it a step further because it is better to render Ajax visualizations within an iframe. And so for demo style T3, we specify transform demo Ajax viz T3. And if we edit that, we can see that we are calling uh, render visualization method. And this is all that you need inside of the T3, demo Ajax viz T3. We just need to extend report Ajax visualization transform and call this one method. And everything from T2 will get rendered inside of an iframe. So that's all we need to do there. There is one additional step. If you remember from the presentation, all of the styles were connected together. So in order to do that, we need to set some style parameters. So T2 and T3 styles are which the styles that get style parameters set. So on T2, we're going to go to style parameters tab and go to add. And we're going to choose the report XML style. So for the report XML style, we're going to specify demo style T1. And the reason is, is because we get the report XML from demo style T1. So we're going to go ahead and save that. We also need to point T2 to T3. And we're going to do so by going to demo style T3. Go to style parameters. Add. And choose style name. And inside style name we're just going to specify demo style T2. And go ahead and save it. So now we have all the transforms, all the styles, and the layout configured. So now we just need to tell MicroStrategy where this, uh, you know, customization is. So inside the application settings tab, there's a visualization settings um, folder. And you might need to enable this by going to preferences, MicroStrategy, and do show advanced options. So if you go into Visualization Settings, go to Ajax, this is where your Ajax visualizations are defined. And as you can see, there are two already here. So what we're going to do is go Add, and we are going to choose Demo Style T3, which is the style for the third transform. And the reason we're doing that is so it renders inside an iframe. You can configure the ID. You can configure the scope, report, grid and document, whole document, a layout. Um, you can specify the projects, the data providers. You can also specify a property editor style. Uh, 
this is a topic that I'm going to cover in a later video, how to create a property editor style. Uh, you can see here it's very easy to apply them. Uh, but this is basically when you go to add a custom visualization, users can specify styles uh, that allow them to open up a properties editor so they can apply properties to the custom visualization. So what we're going to do is go ahead and save it. And then we're going to restart our server. Once we do that, we'll navigate to MicroStrategy Web and run a report. <clears throat> so from here, users can go to Tools, Custom Visualizations to apply a visualization. If that is not available, they'll need to go to Preferences and go to general project defaults. They'll need to go to project defaults and configure the custom visualizations to be enabled. So they need to check this checkbox and hit apply. I already have that enabled so I'm going to go back to my report, run it, go to tools, custom visualizations, Scroll down under Ajax and choose Demo T3 after I enable it. And it runs and you can see here that I have output all of the, we'll go back to the data. So you know all the data, we have income bracket, region, revenue, and if you go back to, to the visualization you can see that it has all of this data being rendered. And it also has our custom text. So what does this mean? This means that inside of your T2, you now have all of the grid data for this grid that we've applied the visualization on top of to. This empowers developers to take this data and insert it into some custom JavaScript, some custom HTML, you know, Google Map API or a different API to render a custom visualization. So as I said, um, all the code and including the plugin with the styles and the classes will be uploaded to my GitHub account. You can see it at the bottom of this video. So please fork it. Uh, feel free to post any questions and have a nice day.